Good afternoon, joining us today we have the former world champion boxer Steve Collins. Right Steve, good to see you again. It's good to be here. Yeah, well we've worked together on quite a few projects in the past. I'm pleased to say that you're also involved in our new series, Too Close for Comfort 2. Yes, um, I've had a, um, a taste of it. I've, I've, I've obviously played a small part in one of your episodes, which I was quite... Um, it wasn't challenging because you know I'm playing the part of a, a grumpy Irish man, which is really not my true self. So I had to dig down deep to that role. <laughs> Nobody else would say that, but I'm, yeah. I'm of that opinion. Yeah, I think as an initial introduction, I like it because it leaves the door open to go different ways. You know, who's this guy? Obviously, he's, he's got the Irish accent. He's not from the, the neighbourhood. He's he's come from outside. He's now living here. He's part of the family. So he's got a history prior to being involved you know with, with the family and, and and the whole um program and maybe as, as it goes on and develops you know you, you, you've got like a lot of directions you can go you might want to bring his character in maybe show a bit more about him where he comes from how he got there today what he's really like what he's all about so it's, it's open to the um the writers um to expand and 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 then um, you know make the role probably you know more interesting bigger and and uh and the more the merrier for me, obviously, you know. Yeah, of course, and I think it's all about establishing it first, getting our audience to relate to you as a character, and then building it from there. Yeah. But Steve, you know, we all want to know, how did you go from being a world champion boxer to then going into the acting field? What what led you there? Um, I, well, it's, <laughs> it's, it's still entertainment. At the end of the day, you know, when I was a professional boxer, obviously it's, it's sport, but it's still entertainment. Yeah. And you got to understand too, you know, people saw Steve Collins, the Celtic warrior, you know, perform in the ring. And this is what they saw. They saw this guy, this this, this fighter uh, who was out there, you know, and, and he was programmed, you know, he wanted to destruct and destroy. That's that's all, that's all what he saw. Well, that's, that's not really me. So in a way, I was portraying a character you know, uh, the Celtic Warrior, Steve Collins, the professional fighter. So in a way, I was performing and I was acting yeah. probably all my life. You know, your, your boxing career is limited. And when that, you know, stage, you know, you, it, that's over for you. And you want to continue on in, in, in you know, in, in the entertaining, yeah, entertainment, yeah. entertaining business. Um, you can move into acting because as an actor, you can, you can act up until, you know, the day you die because there's different roles. Because so, everybody in the film, you got the you know old people, young people, you got middle aged, got the whole lot, so you can continue to perform and act, um, you know, after your sporting career ends and in, in the um, acting business, and, and I enjoy it because it's an outlet for me. It's it gives me something to focus on, gives me something else to concentrate on, or something else to work on, and and like everything else, the more you do it, the more experience you get. You know, if you have some talent, uh, the more you can improve. Well, definitely, I believe that. You know, you got to just work at that art and keep polishing you know as soon as you, you people you arrive people see the boxer whereas if i wasn't a boxer people just see a person arrive and come into character and it's believable when they see a guy who they only recognize as a professional fighter you know it's it's, it's they find it hard to accept the transition and for you to play the part of someone who's not a boxer because you got you're recognized as that but the more people see you in different roles the more the exposure you get the more parts you get in films and plays and so on the more people then kind of forget what what you were and kind of see you for what you were and where you're going and that makes it hard for me sometimes to kind of convince people that i can be something else other than a professional yeah. fighter and I, I'm, you know obviously dt productions has, has given me some opportunities and, and a chance to um showcase myself in on another stage and it, it does help because it does it, 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 it fattens my portfolio and it also, uh, you know, it gives me more experience and, 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 and it convinces people that I can, can do a bit more than uh, they well, expect. People are typecast. So you've mm -hmm. been typecast as a boxer and then you have to prove yourself. No, actually, I can act as well. And that mm -hmm. takes a bit of time. But I think, you know, you've been in a lot, you know, your first film, Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels. That was a mm -hmm. brilliant one to be in. That's a great credit. Yeah, I mean, it's a long time ago and I'm still, um, to this day, you know, there's young generations i only seen this movie because it's a classic. It's one of the greatest movies British yeah. movie ever made, and I had a really good role in it. The plus side is, you know, the role I played in that as the hard man, the doorman. That's easy because people have seen me as yes. the hard man, the boxer. So certain roles I'm accepted in and and, and and can convince people straight away. Yeah, I can do that role. 
it's the ones outside of you know playing with the loving caring father uh, you know it's a bit more convincing right Steve so you know you you reached the top in your boxing career you know world champion how amazing you must have put so much passion and determination to get to that point will you apply the same in your acting do you think um well absolutely i mean you know acting is a very very serious business it's a tougher business than boxing i can tell you that because you can take on your opponents in boxing like i explained earlier but i, I i'm giving it as much you know time and effort as i can and I'm, I'm always trying to pick up something else and gain knowledge and improve my acting it's still early days but you know the, if i get that one like in the lock stock, you know, was great. If I could get, you know, some more films and get some more uh, roles and, and, and get, a, you know, more parts, people then start to take it a bit more serious and then it lead on to more work. And, you know, the more work you get, the more experience you get, the more you improve. So the answer to your question is, I am giving it my best shot. Yeah, and I am taking it serious. And I really um, hope and believe that I achieved the um, success that I achieved my boxing career or even as half the success I achieved in my boxing career. But again, as in boxing, in the film business, it's um, it's all about lucky breaks, and it's meeting the right people at the right time, and being in the right place at the right time. So you gotta go out there and keep plugging away, and hopefully um, you hit the target. So Steve, you know, you've worked on a couple of projects with us, I know you've done various short films, you've got a feature film coming up, and some other exciting projects. Tell us a little bit more about what else you're doing. I've done, over the years, you know, quite a number of shorts and, and um, for me, I've, you know, good practice and getting some direction from directors and coaching, you know, on set, you, you know, it's, it's all experience and you learn more and, and enjoy them and, and, and they're kind of, as I said earlier, they're kind of fattening up my uh, CV a bit, which means that when I meet people and uh, I, I have a, a, a like something like I can show them and they take it away and they look, then they take it more serious. They realize, oh, you know, he's not just looking to get his face in, he's actually serious, he wants to be an actor. And I've had, you know, I've sat down with um, Paul, you know, the King Brothers, and I made a short with Paul King only a couple of days ago, which I hope will be out next week. Uh, so, I've, you know, I've kind of convinced him you now he realizes I'm serious, he likes what we've done together, and he's you now definitely got me on board for his next um, film feature. Yes, I heard that. So that's a film called In Despair, so that's another one to look out yeah. for. And, and I'm looking forward to that. I, I like the character, I like the role, and uh, it's something I look forward to. I've also met up with uh, Terry Stone, uh, who's a very successful independent independent filmmaker, and uh, I met with him, and I had a chat with him, and then I, I, I could I pass on my show reel, and he now realised that I'm, you know, I'm serious, it's not just me looking for a bit of publicity, that I really genuinely want to move into the... Um, Excellent. acting and take it serious so he's in the K that he'd like to do something with me next year and, and uh, so it's, it's all it's 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 a it's slow getting there but i'm not too worried because whilst i'm getting there and, you know to the, the feature and the, and, the, and the bigger films i'm getting practice with the shorts and, and yeah. uh, you know which, which is, is 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 only educating me and giving me uh, you know gaining more knowledge and, yeah. and, and more experience and it, it just benefits me in the long run I think it benefits everyone, even for ourselves. We've started off with short films, and it's only now we feel confident enough after learning mm -hmm. that we're ready to go into feature films, which I'm happy to say Steve uh, will be involved in Jade Up Dirty as well. So it's another one to look out for. So, you know, it's a lot, there's a lot going on, you know, a lot of connection. Like you said, Terry Stone, Terry Stone's done quite a lot now. Great guy, I've met him myself. Um, you know, it seems that there's some exciting things, Steve, and I'm really pleased for you. It's been great talking to you, Steve, as ever, and look forward to working with you again soon on the series. Thank you very much.